Opposition leader Kamla Prasad Basasa wants government to declare their interest in the yachting industry and why they decided to exempt them from taxes for repair instead of having zero rated tax. Because if you zero rate them, then certain things happen. And if you exempt them, certain things do not happen. And so let me just say, um, the persons who work and earn these monies and so on, it means that they do not declare their income. So if, if the suppliers of the goods and services for the boat repairs, they will have a problem. The Minister of Finance, Colm Imbert, says the VAT exemptions for yacht services announced in the 2016-2017 budget only applies to foreign yacht owners. He was responding to statements made by the opposition leader, Kamla Prasad Basasa, during her response to the 2016-2017 budget. Mrs. Prasad Basasa questioned whether the tax exemptions for yacht services would benefit any member of the government. In this regard, she called on government MPs to declare their assets. Minister Imbert called those claims ridiculous. It's, a, it's an absurdity when the speech says foreign yacht services to imply that one of the members of the government will benefit from this. Which one of us is a foreigner? I have a 20-year-old boat, yes, an old boat, but I am not a foreigner, so I would not be eligible for the foreign yacht service exemption. He said research showed that earnings from repairing foreign yachts had declined and this was adversely affecting employment in the Chagaramas Peninsula. We looked at Grenada, we looked at St. Lucia, we looked at St. Vincent, all of the other islands who have similar um, boatyard repair services. And we concluded that yes, the imposition of the VAT on foreign yacht services had caused foreign yacht owners to stop coming to Trinidad, which was adversely affecting employment in the Chagaramas Peninsula.